Hello, my name is Orang and in this demonstration I am going to talk about a uh, radar gimbal control problem. The problem here is a uh, radar that is installed on an aircraft and the target is stationary on the ground and the problem that we want to solve is to find the elevation and azimuth angle of the control uh, joints of the radar structure such that uh, no matter where the aircraft is or what is its orientation, the radar gimbal always points at the target. So we have uh, two controllable joints and we have a, a fixed target, which is could be anywhere in the, in the space. And we have a six degree of freedom aircraft, which uh, with position and uh, pitch roll yaw angles that define the uh, orientation of the aircraft and we need to find the elevation and azimuth angles. To solve this problem we open up MapleSim and uh, create a geometric representation of the problem that we want to solve. To do that we have uh, we start with a fixed frame and create a six degree of freedom base. We use three translational joints and three revolute joints put them in a uh, subsystem so that it looks nice. We call it base and then connect it to the fixed frame, which is at the origin of the space. And now create the frame of the gimbal radar. Uh, we need a revolute joint. This one will represent the azimuth angle. We orient it uh, in a appropriate direction and more rigid body frames and another uh, revolute joint. This one will represent the elevation angle of the radar gimbal structure. Connecting everything together, we need a rigid body to represent the actual gimbal. Now we put a target, which is another fixed frame, and then to represent geometrically the orientation of the gimbal uh, towards the target, we connect them via a uh, spherical joint and a uh, translational joint which basically represent the gimbal uh, and uh, target in a spherical coordinate system. And lastly, we define the position of the target with parameters. Now we have many coordinates and we select the six represent the base, also select the two representing the elevation azimuth but we ignore the extra coordinates uh, representing the translational and the spherical joints. Now we go to multi-body analysis template, which opens up Maple uh, uh, worksheet. Our model is loaded there, and we have a set of commands to execute such that the equation are generated. As you can see here, we have a uh, six degree of freedom system that is modeled with eight coordinates. So we have two constraints. The constraints are automatically generated in symbolic form. And uh, because of the form of these equations, we can solve them. So we use the solve command of maple and solve for elevation and azimuth angle symbolically. Now that we have the solution, basically the inverse kinematic solution, we can create a custom component and use those equations to uh, inside our model. So we go inside multibody copy the first equation for elevation angle and put it back inside our custom component template. We do the same thing for the second equation. This one gives us the azimuth angle. We copy this one as well and just put it inside the custom component equations. And now we need to define the parameters as you have seen, uh, the only parameters that we have included here are the position of the target, Tx, Ty, and Tz. We give Tz uh, the 20 meters away, and we don't have any initial conditions. All we need to do now is graphically uh, represent this custom component with inputs and outputs. The first input is the position x of the base, we select it from the pull-down menu of all the variables that we have. The same goes for the other translation and uh, orientations. Now the output, the first output will be the azimuth angle. We select it from the variables that 
appear in, inside our equations. And the second one is the elevation angle. So now we have a custom component. All we need to do is hit the generate button and Maple will create a custom component with our equations inside it. Now we drag in a copy of this custom component inside our model and then we need to use the calculated azimuth and elevation signal to drive the two revolute joints. So we use uh, position drivers, connect them to two revolute joints, one for the azimuth, azimuth output is connected to this one and the elevation output is connected to the other one. The geometric representation of line of sight is no longer needed because we have the uh, solution to the inverse kinematic. Now we input to our system some arbitrary position and orientation to have a visualization. Uh, we add some CAD objects to various moving parts of the system, the gimbal, the radar, the frame, and also the target. We can run the simulation now, and uh, once the simulation is done, we can have a look at the graphic representation. And as you can see here, this is the radar and gimbal and frame. Now the base is moving arbitrarily in a space, and as you can see, the solution of inverse kinematics points the line of sight always going through the target. Uh, we have used the position drivers to drive the joints. Now we make it a little bit more realistic and use a servo controller, a torque driver with a uh, PID controller to uh, drive the two joints. In another uh, empty model, we create this subsystem, which basically has a torque driver, a sensor for reading the pos actual position of the revolute joints. We input the controller parameters and then create a subsystem, which then we will use this subsystem inside our model. Let's call this servo. Now we have, a, we need to define the inputs and outputs of this subsystem. Now we copy this and put it back inside our original model. These uh, revolute, uh, these uh, rotational drivers are no longer needed. So this is uh, for the elevation and this the same servo is used for the azimuth. The connections are made and we can now run the simulation and see the results of our controller. After the simulation is done, the same uh, graphic representation is shown, but this time uh, you can see a slight vibration at the beginning because the initial conditions were away from the target, but the PID controller that we have used uh, is capable to bring uh, the line of sight and keep it pointed towards the target at all times. 